Hello viewers, welcome to Agile Math Class. Today we shall be talking about the randomized block design. So when we talk about the word randomized block design, this is just um, an improvement on the complete block, de uh, complete randomized design. But in this case, we consider what is known as the blocking, okay, and also put into consideration the nuisance factor. So talking about the statistical models. There are two things we need to consider when we talk about the RCBD uh, models, statistical models. So the first is to talk about the mean models. And secondly, we talk about the um, effects model. So when we talk about the mean model, for the mean model, We have that to be yij subscript ij equal mu ij plus eij. So what does this represent? When we talk about the mu ij, this represents um, the observation of the height treatment and also what and also the jets blocking so we need to take note of this jet block and when we talk about the mu ij here we talk about the height treatment and jet blocking and while our eij is the same thing as the random error so don't forget that our i tends to from 1 to a and also j is from 1 to b. So having known this, secondly, we're going to talk about the um, effect model, which is the second form of the model. And don't forget, this effect model is what we are going to make use of. So when we talk about the effect model, here we have that our yij equal mu plus tau i plus beta subscript j plus e i j and in this case our e i j is normally distributed with mean zero and variance sigma square so Highlighting the meaning of this here, our mu here is going to be the grand mean. Our tau i, this is going to be um, our i treatment effect, the treatment effect. Y beta j is going to be the what the block effect. And as usual, our EIJ is going to be our random error. And don't forget the distribution of our EIJ. So with this, um, there's a need for me to talk about the um, parameter constraint. So when we talk about the parameter constraint, this is very important when you state the model. So you need to state the parameter constraint. Here we have the, our tau high where i ranges from 1 to a the summation of it is going to be 0 also the second parameter used here which is the uh, beta j where j sum from 1 to b is also 0 so take into consideration these two um, parameter constraint so with this we can proceed by looking at the sum of squares so how do we estimate our sum of squares so by doing that we know that our sum of square total which is known as the ss total is the same thing as um here we're gonna have the double sum version where here i have my a from one to sorry from i from 1 to A 
and also my j from 1 to b okay summation y i j that means the observation across i treatment and j block minus y bar dot dot which is the grand mean squared so the composing this this can be decomposed as double summation so here we have y i j which is that of the observation minus y i dot which is the treatment effect minus y dot j this is the mean across the block so the first one here this is the mean across the treatment and this is the mean across the block so plus y bar dot 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 which is the grand mean plus y bar dot which is the treatment mean y dot dot which is the grand mean plus y dot j bar minus y bar bar all squared then you're gonna ask me why do we have this yeah this is a very good question asking why do you have this to be this now when you look at this you can see that um okay let me just give a little illustration here we want to show that the left hand side is the same thing as the right hand side so if you take away this minus um, the treatment mean which is y i dot plus this is going to you are going to have zero minus this plus this is going to give you zero right plus y bar dot dot minus y bar dot dot you're going to have zero so you're going to be left with y i j minus y bar dot dot which is the same thing with the what with the left hand side all squared so this is form of um, decomposition we, we decompose our sum of square total so by this uh, decomposing the sum of square total uh, we can have this to be decomposed as double sum yij don't forget doing this we're going to conclude that uh make the assumption that our cost product is zero in this regard and if you try to the same thing you can watch my video on the crd how i show that my sum of square um the um cross product is zero so we have d squared plus y bar i dot minus y bar dot dot squared plus double sum y bar dot j minus y bar dot dot squared now looking at this here we have that this is my sum of square error this is the sum of square treatment and this is my sum of square block and don't forget this i from 1 to a j from 1 to b the same thing with this i is from 1 to a j is from 1 to b so decomposing this further so here we have that our um sum of squared treatment is the same thing as b sum from 1 to a y i dot bar minus y dot dot bar all squared don't forget this is what i brought here likewise my sum of squared block you're gonna have a sum from j from 1 to b y dot j bar minus y dot dot which is the grand mean squared now for the first one this can be written in the form 1 over b 
summation y i j sorry y i dot squared okay that is summation across the row minus the correction factor the correction factor can be written as y dot dot squared over n don't forget my n is the product of a and b so this also can be written in the same form like we are going to have 1 over a summation y dot j squared minus the correction factor which is y dot dot squared over n either way you're still on track and don't forget my sum of square total which is double sum y i j minus y dot dot bar or squared also this can be written in the form double summation y i j squared minus y dot dot squared over n so this is what we need to um, focus on and um, pay attention to. So with this, having done this, then we can move to the mean square error. So for the MS treatment, which is the same thing as the SS treatment over the degree of freedom, which is going to be what? A minus 1. For the MS block, So we have this to be what? The SS block over B minus degree of freedom. And um, our SMSE, which is the same thing as what? SSE over what? A minus 1, B minus 1. And um, don't forget from here, we can get our SSE. And our SSC is just SS total minus because computing SSC can be um, cumbersome, so it's better you just use this approach SS total minus SS treatment minus SS block. So with this, you can get the sum of square error. And um, developing a test statistics for this. From here, we have that our F, observe, is the same thing as the MS treatment over MSE. That is for the first one. Okay? So you can also have it as um, our F also. For the blocking, you can have the what? MSB over MSE. But in this case, we are interested in that of the treatment. Okay, we are not interested in um, testing if the blocking is significant or not. So our interest should be on the treatment. Okay, but the blocking is very useful. Okay, um, in form of the nuisance factor. But the effect is not of the is not of our interest. So with this, under the null hypothesis, under your H naught. We have our F, degree of freedom of the treatment, which is A minus 1, comma, the degree of freedom of the error, which is A minus 1, B minus 1. So, reject your null hypothesis if the F observed is greater than F alpha a minus 1, A minus 1, B minus 1. In a nutshell, let me just quickly take you through this um, ANOVA table. We have the source of variation. We have the degree of freedom. We have the sum of square. We have the mean square. And lastly, we have F. So under the source of variation, we have the treatment, we have the block, we have the error, 
and also we have the total. So the treatment for the degree of freedom of the treatment, we use a minus one. For the block, we use b minus one. For the total, we use n minus one. Don't forget that n is the same thing as a times b. So this is like saying a b minus one. And for the error, um, we're gonna use a minus one, b minus one, and this can be gotten using the same approach for the sum of square error we use above here. So for our SS, we prove this. We prove this. What our SS treatment is, the same thing with SS block, and also SSE. So after you've calculated all this using the above um, value for computation, then you can do your MS which is your SS treatment over A minus one. Here you can have SS block over B minus one. Here you can have SSC over A minus one, B minus one. And lastly, for our F, then we can have MS treatment over MSE. So you can make conclusion with your F or you make use of what? Of the p-value so this is where i'm going to stop for today thank you very much for watching see you next time